All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to rectify um, quite an interesting issue that um, I've had with this MacBook Air. Now, this issue can happen on any um, Apple Macintosh machine, whether it's, um, or I guess, any Intel Mac. Uh, this process will probably work on. But um, let me just go ahead and uh, open the machine up, and I'll show you the issue. Now, as you can see, the machine is relatively fully functional. Well, of course, it is fully functional. But um, let me just go ahead into About This Mac real quick. Go into more info. And you'll notice something quite strange here. Um, as you can see, uh, the first thing you might notice is that where it should say the model information of the MacBook Air right under here, uh, it says nothing. And where it says serial number, instead of giving a serial number, it just says system serial number. And the same thing applies if you go to About This Mac just click here it just says system serial number so I'm gonna uh, show you how to rectify that issue now basically what we're gonna be using to um, do that is an Apple internal tool called I think it's like board serializer or something or blank board serializer I'm not exactly sure of the exact name of it but I uh, have it on my Mac Pro and I'll show you uh, what to do with it but um uh, this process uh, should, in theory, um, write a new serial number to the board and therefore allow you to use your uh, iMessage and iCloud uh, like you would if a serial number was in place. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the steps to create the bootable drive that you need to do this process and uh, then I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. So I'll be right back. All right, so um, once you get on your computer and download the blank board serializer, as you can see I have it here, and um, in the folder that you download, it comes with uh, the image itself, which you have to um, restore to a USB drive, and uh, a couple readmes. It kind of tells you what to do there. You can also burn the image to a CD uh, if you have a Mac with an optical drive. Um, this being a MacBook Air, um, it does not have an optical drive, of course, so... I'm going to have to write it to a USB drive. So I've got my USB drive here. Um, this is only a one gigabyte drive, but it doesn't need to be that big. Um, the image itself is only 40 megs, so you can use pretty much any drive for that. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up Disk Utility. Um, select the drive you intend to restore the image on. Select Restore. And right here, uh, select Image. And now you're going to want to browse for the blank board serializer DMG. You can see I've got it right there. Select open. And for the destination, just go ahead and drag the flash drive on it. And then go ahead and select restore. Type your password. And you might have to do the scan image for restore, which sometimes doesn't work. There is another way you can do this, but let me go ahead and try this real quick first. All right, so it says scanning completed successfully. So let's just go ahead and try the restore again. This time I'll just drag the uh, partition on it because sometimes that works a little better. All right, and as you can see, the restore is progressing right now. All right, and as you can see, the restore has successfully completed. So uh, that's the contents of the drive right there. So you can go ahead and eject the drive and go ahead and plug it into your uh, Target Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll show you what to do from there. All right, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and plugged the USB flash drive into my USB port there. And um, at this point, you're going to want to make sure your machine is shut, shut down, and you're also going to want to have your serial number on hand. So I've got mine written down there. Um, I just took that off the uh, bottom pan of the machine. So at this point, Let's just go ahead and power the machine on um, while holding down the Option key. I'm 
Should boot any second here. All right. All right, and now you can see that we have a USB drive named set serial number. So we're gonna go ahead and boot off that. Go ahead and boot up here. As you can see, the interface kind of looks like Mac OS 9 or older, which is quite interesting. And the mouse cursor is extremely laggy, so that's quite interesting. Go ahead and accept. And now we are prompted to enter the serial number. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. Alright, so let me verify that that's correct. And it is, so we'll go ahead and select continue. And yes. And we'll go ahead and select yes. And as you can see, the serial number has been written successfully. So let's just go ahead and restart the machine and see what happens. So as you can see, it is now booting back up here. And um, once it boots into the OS, um, I'll go ahead and resume the video and uh, see if it worked. So I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, the machine has booted back up. So let's see if we now have a serial number. being a little slow here. And indeed, we do. So you can see that it now detects the MacBook Air as a late 2008 model, as it should, with the correct serial number right there. So that is how to write a serial number to a MacBook or any Mac uh, that has no serial number or a blank serial number as I showed you before So um, yeah, that is how to write a serial number. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video